guys welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing okay you'll notice that i am in a bit of a different background um i'm in a half done shed at the moment so this is like my nail space that obviously i've mentioned my new one um but it's like still ongoing at the moment it's not quite done so hence why i have walls that aren't painted and still have screws in them so let's just ignore it um but yeah, today I'm going to be doing a video that is basically just going through my must-haves for the gel bottle collection. Obviously, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that I recently um, completely rebranded to the gel bottle. And I relied quite a lot on people's advice, telling me what sort of colours are their most popular. And just sort of like recommendations, because obviously the gel bottle have so many like different colours. Like it's sometimes you can get a little bit lost in it all so i would look a lot on like the gel bottle facebook groups and stuff and videos like this one um just to get some recommendations really and sort of see what people like what colors people use like for different sets and what is their most popular because obviously you don't want to be buying colors that no one's really going to use so um yeah i thought i would do that video today and basically bring you my favorites my must-haves uh, my most popular colours, what I use for um, like French or um, you know like basic sort of um, say for example like my most popular pinks and stuff. So yeah I wanted to go through them. This is my Swatch Pro I think it's called, like a Swatch Pro book that the jar bottle do. Um, so I'll show you what colours I have at the moment, you've probably seen this loads of times in my other videos if you've seen them. These are the colours that I have at the moment, so there is, how many is on each row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I've got 40 colours at the moment. Um, obviously that's going to be growing and I'm going to be filling this book someday, um, slowly but surely. And obviously I'll take you guys with me along with the unboxings and the hauls and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, these are the colours that I've got on the mo I've got at the moment, um, and I've basically just picked out a few of my favourites um, and basically the ones that I reckon are like my most popular. Um, just to sort of help anyone, you know, if there is anybody that's looking to buy or completely rebrand from the gel bottle, um, yeah, just to give you some advice really on what are my most popular. So basically, the first one that I'm going to show you is a builder gel. Now, whether you have used builder gel before, I'm not 100%, um, but oh my god, like when I tell you this colour and this builder gel is like the best thing ever, I actually can't even explain it. Like, so I used to use, I like I say, I've only recently started using Builder Gel and I started using it when I was actually using Premier Gel, the previous brand that I used. And I used the Premier Gel one and loved it to be fair, I didn't have any anything to say about it, but I'd always heard good things about this Builder Gel that the gel bottle do in shade Teddy. So I definitely knew that when I was completely rebranding, I wanted to definitely buy this and give it a go because I've heard so many people like say nothing but good stuff about it. So yeah, I bought this um, when I completely rebranded and I've literally, I've used it so many times already. Um, a lot of my clients have Builder Gel now and I even have it on myself right now. Um, so yeah, I actually love it. Um, so yeah, the Builder Gel is definitely something that I would invest in and I would definitely have it as like a must have in um, any collection really. Um, the shade Teddy is like a sort of um, pink shade. I'll just show it you out of the bottle. So it's like quite a subtle sort of nude pink um, sort of shade. And honest to God, this looks absolutely amazing with um french or marble or like a rose quartz sort of look and um, i have done i have got one client that has builder gel um every time and i'll just pop you some uh, um pictures in the corner so this one was a french that i did with this shade teddy and obviously i just used daisy for the hand painted french and i was actually obsessed with this set like I was never a fan of French when I sort of first started doing nails, but can we just, like how, how perfect. 
So the basically this client has a very hectic lifestyle. She's always doing like different stuff like rock climbing. She works all the hours under the sun and her nails and she's also a hairdresser. So um she her nails get battered. She always she used to have gel. She always chips um like the gel off and I basically said to her, give this a go because obviously it's gonna save you um if she has like the nicest longest nail beds and they're just beautiful so i said that this would be um something that i would recommend and also just to try and reduce the amount of chipping that she gets so yeah that is honestly like you need to buy it i'll just pop another picture here of the set after the french and i created like a rose quartz sort of look with the teddy builder gel and i absolutely loved it it's just such a nice base for any sort of like just natural nail basically nothing too crazy just keeping it nice and simple and i just love it but yeah so that's the builder gel that i use and absolutely love so the next one i'm going to show you is a just a gel color and this is shade marshmallow next color that i have is basically sort of the same um sort of color this is the difference in the two of them so you'll see that teddy is the darker one and this one is marshmallow so they are both sort of like base colors but the marshmallow one is not a builder gel that is just like a gel color yeah the marshmallow is sort of the same like to get a nice base for either french or just people that want like just a nice simple plain pink set of nails like whether it's gel or acrylic um, but yeah, the marshmallow is definitely my go-to for my base if I'm ever doing, you know, sets of French or anything. I created quite a few sets using the marshmallow shade. I'll just pop a few pictures in um, whilst I'm talking. So this design went crazy recently. Like I had so many clients that wanted this sort of design with the spring tips and the base for that was the marshmallow. And um, I've also created, I also created this gradient set as well um, with the marshmallow base. And yeah, it just, like I say, creates a really nice base for French or just as a plain color on its own. The next one that I have that I use as a really nice plain, simple pink and this one is Audrey. So Audrey is a really, really pale pink and I have quite a few clients that like just simple colors. They don't like anything too crazy. And yeah, I get quite a lot of use out of this. It's a really, really nice pale pink. And like I say, I think people just sometimes like simple sort of sets. So this is just like a really cute pale pink. And yeah, I actually get quite a lot of use out of this. But like I say, I know like we love to create crazy designs on nails and stuff, but there are quite a few people that just like their nails plain and simple and that's fine. And yeah, we just like to make sure that we have these sort of colors in. And I basically just need to, I do actually need to get some more shades of the pinks, um, but this is definitely a popular one and that is shade Audrey. So the next six colours that I've got are all sort of like a pastel -y. I mean, some of them aren't pastel, but they are these ones here. So the pastel -y sort of ones that I have are, I've actually got two out of the pastel collection. So the yellow is the pastel V110 and then the pink pastel is V008. Both of these colours are out of the pastel collection and I feel like pastel at this time of year when you're in spring coming into summer, they are just so popular and I actually love these two. Um, the purple that I have as my must have isn't out of the pastel collection, it's actually flax and I will show you a little picture here that I created of a French set that was flax and Tiffany. So Tiffany is my blue colour in this sort of, this these six colours that I picked out. Um, sorry, I just went on a bit on a bit of a tangent. So the pastel yellow is as described. It's just sort of like a pale pastel yellow. And I actually love that because, I mean, yellow isn't a like majorly popular colour, but I feel like it's one of them that you just have to have, like just in case. That is the pastel pink as well. And I actually love it. It's just the most perfect pastel. And yeah, the set that I created with these two, these are such a nice combination. Like Tiffany is just the most beautiful color. 
um, and so is flax and I feel as though they look really nicely together and that is why I created um, the set with the French with them and then the next two colours that I got were Coral Touch and Cockatoo. Coral Touch has already been like very popular for the recent sets that I've done especially like say coming in this time of year it's just one of them colours that people love. People love like bright colours for holidays, you know, if they're going away um, or just for the nice weather because currently it's very warm outside. So bright nails. <laughs> um, yeah, so they were my other two. So Coral Touch and Cockatoo. Um, they are literally like really nice bright colours and I just absolutely love them. So yeah, they are definitely like, they just look so nice together. Like imagine that, like, I mean there's six here and there needs to be five, but say for example, we just took this one away. How cute would that be? Like just as a set? Oh my gosh. So yeah, I actually love those. And then the final two that I wanna show you are two glitters. So I am also getting a lot of requests for like glitter sets. I'll put in a few screenshots here of the most recent ones that I've done. And yeah, glitter ombre has been like quite a popular request. So um, like you can see in this set, there is a block color, a glitter ombre, and then a glitter color. So people are loving the sort of like glitter ombre at the moment, like the faded glitter. And these are my two favorites. So the two that I've used um, the most, so this uh, silver one is D001, and then the pink one is D014. So basically these are like two chunky glitters and they are silver and one is pink. And I basically just picked these because obviously silver goes with anything and pink is like a really popular color. So, but because they are the chunky glitters, they honestly, they ombre so well. Like I do have a few other glitters, but I'd say they're mainly for just a color on their own and um, don't necessarily ombre as well as the chunky glitters do. So these are literally like a dream to work with and they just make it really easy basically to create your sets and create the design that you're after. So here I've just grabbed them out of the book for you so that you can see them swatched. This one is the pastel yellow that I mentioned, pastel V110. Then this one is the pastel pink that I mentioned and that is V008 there. Then the next one along, this one is Coral Touch and that is the really nice orangey sort of colour that I've shown you. Then the next one I've got, this is the marshmallow colour that I use for a lot of my bases and for my French. Then the next one I've got is Audrey and that is the really nice pale pink that I mentioned. Then the next one along we have Tiffany, which is obviously the beautiful blue colour. Then this one is Cockatoo and that is a really nice bright summer colour that I mentioned. Then the next one along is Flax, that is the purple that I am obsessed with. And the next two are the glitters that I mentioned. So obviously we've got the silver one and the pink one. And they are, silver is D001 and the pink glitter is D014. So yeah, they are just all of them swatched for you so that you can see them um, a little bit better than just on the top of the bottle. Um, and yeah, they are obviously my, uh, like my favorites and a basically to start any collection um they would be like a perfect sort of starter for you so that you've got like sort of um maybe like some basics a few colors like obviously you've got purple blue pink orange like a ready color glitters yellows like you've just sort of covered all bases um and yeah these are just my like top picks for you obviously i've got a load of other colors here that I'm obsessed with as well and but yeah I just wanted to show you um what I sort of would suggest as like my must-haves or my sort of like go-to's basically because I know that if you were sort of like completely rebranding especially to the gel bottle it's expensive like you know it's not easy to just buy the whole collection and, and have it done with like 
it's hard. So, I mean, like I have, like I sort of like just built my collection like in little bits. Like I've done like maybe three or four orders now. Um, and obviously I'll be carrying on. So yeah. So that's everything guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful and please remember to like and subscribe and um, follow me on my other socials if you want to. It's at the nail room by G on Instagram and TikTok and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.